Hello, everybody! Exodus here. Frothing at the bit to get back into some more quiver dick. Wait! Well, stop! Rephrasing that! <laughs> here, here to continue our journey in quiver dicks. Tales. Stories. Tales. Sh sh shit! I forgot its name. Tales for terrible parents to read to their equally terrible children. I think I'm close enough. Either way, we're back. We're gonna go poke ourselves a cyclops and we're gonna poke it right in the eye. Because that's what fairies do. Honestly, I don't know what fairies do. I can't wait. I, we're, there, oh, there's Faticus. I saw that. Ugh, I can't see a thing. I should probably find something to light the way. That, I guess, can you help me? If you insist on continuing on, please take this torch with you. I already there. Mary obtains a torch. Yeah, and I know there's a, I saw that butterfly. We want that. Thank you. This will definitely come in handy. Where'd that butterfly go? Where'd that butterfly go? Don't tell me it went down. I want it. Something tells me they're relevant, but I don't know what. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exit, and then enter back and see if it's there. Oh, must have went down. Ah, butterfly. As Mary descended into the cave, she felt a cold chill run over her entire body. Woo! It sure is cold. My nipples are so hard they can double as a quick shiv. That's it. Be poking their eyes out with them to... Mm, that's terrible. But funny. She decided to continue further into the cave, as there was really no point in going back the way she had come. After all, that's ah, not really how stories work, is it? Fair enough. I'm excited to meet the Cyclops thing. I hope he's friendly. Uh, no. Mary doesn't want to have to choke a bitch today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because if you do, it's going to be one. Wait. That stupid butterfly got away again while I was sitting there enjoying the conversation. Anything hiding? Yeah, we don't want to have to choke a bitch. Where's that butterfly? I want that butter. I want it. Mary ventured on until she came upon a ragged, a raggedy Anne on meth looking motherfucker standing in the set. A raggedy Anne on meth looking motherfucker. Raggedy Ann on meth. Holy shit talking mushrooms, man. Could be hot. Okay. What's Meth Grandpa? Meth Grandpa is my DJ name at the club on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I don't know. <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> Meth Grandpa, I thought I heard him there last week. Wait, what? What? No, wait. No, don't, don't, don't do drugs, kids. Ha! Ah, now back to the story. Whoa, who are you? Oh, it's that chick! Alright! Gothica! Is it funny that, um, I actually had a character named that on World of Warcraft? That's not the point. Who am I? Who are you? That chick is freaking gnarly. I'm Mary. You look funny. That, you will get cut. That's not something you typically say to strangers. She's got veins bulging and she's got a knife and looks like she's protecting herself from a room full of fat man farts. And trust me, I know all about those. I create quite a few of them myself. Actually, I do. This chick don't even know. Well, Mary, keep your voice down. Why? There's a cyclops sleeping around the corner and we don't want to wake him up unless we have a way to kill him. Hmm, interesting. Kill him? But why would we go and do something like that? Because if we, he were awake and alert, he'd chew us up into a fine paste, spit us out into the palm of his hand, and use us as a lubricant to pleasure. He... That don't even sound like a good lube. Oh! 
Anyway. So, how do we kill him? Now you're talking my language. Oh no, the veins are gone, her eyes are wide. Yep, the, the, the meth kicked in. I'm Gothica, a treasure hunter. I came into this cave because I heard there's a hidden artifact in here somewhere. It holds great power within itself. If we can manage to dig it up, we can use it to turn that Cyclops inside out. That sounds like fun. So, where should we start digging? Your guess is as good as mine. I've been digging for hours and have had no luck. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and see if you can dig up anything? Dig anything up. I, me and my dyslexia, I swear. Dyslexic to the max. I'm sure you can use some sort of fairy magic or something to help you. Fairy magic? I wish. This is a job for some nimble little fingers sifting through hard dirt. So with haste, Mary searched around the cave for potential digging spots to try and find this ancient artifact that the crazy lady told her about. I wanted you. Yay! I've been wanting that to touch that. So... I imagine that's what I got to focus these things. I wonder what's hidden here under the dirt. Is that a baby? Oh, it's just a small human. Yay, you found me. I don't have any use for this. Guess I'll cover it back up. Wait, what? Wait, don't, don't. That should do the trick. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! Well, if you ever wonder where the cabbage batch kids came from, well, there you go. Mary the fairy done buried babies. Uh, I, I had to double check. I had I, I thought I'd seen something, but you know. Again, I'm playing another RPG Maker style game and it it's got me traumatized for secrets. What do we got? I'm scared now. Now I'm scared. Uh oh, what is it? Oh! It's just a smelly old boot. I got over my foot fetish years ago. Ew. This won't do me any good. She left out. I've already tried digging here. I should, okay, okay. I thought you might say something else. I'm just curious. You gotta double check. Oh, I wonder what's hidden under this one. Let's look and inspect that. Dig, dig, dig. Go! I just want to see. What do you got? Another boot? An old chicken bone. I don't want that. You see pickings like boneless chickens. Am I right? Okay, I already looked down there. I gotta go across. There's a cycloptic udder somewhere around here. Cycloptic udder. Ha! A joke from back in the day. That was a nickname. Again, another MMO reference. I nicknamed my cow the cycloptic udder. Because I was a male cow. So, you know, male cows don't have four udders. Actually, they technically don't have any udders. But that was the joke. Cycloptic udder. Get it? Get it? I know. Yeah. I know. That's, okay. Anyway. Oh, this has got to be a good spot to dig. I can feel it. Good old cycloptic udder. I was wrong. It's empty. Well. That's not a loud monster storm. Okay, that's where we don't want to go. I should go ahead until I find what I'm looking for. I want to make sure and find everything possible. You know what I mean? Everything seems to have its own little unique, oh, unique thing, although aside from the baby, they've been pretty much... This better be the right spot. I just got my nails done. That shit's expensive. She's pissed. That's an angry little fairy. Mary the fairy is quite scary. Success. Mary obtains a scroll of face melting. Sounds good. This should do just fine against the Cyclops. I should go show Gothica. Oh, can I go over there? Hey, yo, Gothica! Oh, that's 
because that's over here. Oh, I never mind then. Hey, yo, homie. You did it. You found the artifact. That's exactly what we've been looking for. Oh, we're going to get to see this. So, what do I do now? Now, you go find that big, fat, smelly Cyclops and use the scroll to destroy him. Ooh, I'm excited. Really? It's that simple? Hmm. Probably not, but good luck. Uh-oh, so Mary set off to slay the Cyclops all on her own. Wait, what? No, 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 I want, I want this hot gothic chick. I wish you luck, little fairy. No? Hot gothic chick! I'm pretty sure she's the type who would sit, spin, and snap it off. But, uh, I spy with my one eye a little fairy. Wow, that's pretty impressive, mister. What are you doing in my cave, little fairy? <laughs> oh, I'm just passing through. Ordinarily, I just try to sneak by a big scary creature like you. But my friend Gothica told me I had to kill you, so here it goes. Kill me? What? Mary the fairy pulled the scroll of face melting she had found earlier from her pouch, reading whatever gibberish was written upon it until it started to glow in her hands. Oh no. And just then, Mary unleashed a violent spell from the scroll that turned the Cyclops into a big pile of mashed potatoes. Wow, that was awesome! Mary was so pleased with the magic power in the scroll that she decided to put it away for later use. Oh yeah, this thing is great. I love mashed potatoes. Wait! I also love... Wait, it... It didn't turn them into a puddle of liquid bone and flesh. It literally turned them into a pile of mashed potatoes. We need a scroll of KFC gravy. I'm saying it right now. I'm just saying. Uh, if there's one thing South Park got right. It's that KFC gravy is pretty bitchin'. Alright, I also love mashed potatoes. Who doesn't love mashed potatoes, Andrew? Hey. Mashed potatoes and pussy are the only two things I can eat at this age. <laughs> it's funny because I can picture my dad saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and his name is Richard. Oh, that's good. That's good. <sighs> then maybe I should stop making you mashed potatoes for dinner every night. You must be getting too full. Ugh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> well, anyways. Uh. Cobwebs and um, spiders. I, I mean, that. I mean, it, she is a witch. If you've ever wondered where witches get their, you know, wing of bat, they keep it in the bat cave. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Okay, I'm on a bad roll. I'm probably in to get my freaking channel shut down by somebody who's so prudish. No, mature language filter. That's right. You enjoy those jokes because they come with the game. Mary the fairy start. Well, okay, not all. Mary the fairy started to move on from the cave, thus progressing the story and ending this conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Would you like to save the game? Yes. Now, I would like to say this is quitting time. Keep it in short chunks. You know what I'm saying? This was like, you know, 12 minutes. Nice little story. But I don't want to. I want the mashed potatoes. The pile is still warm to the touch. So I'm just going to go ahead and... I should probably let Gothica know that... The, oh. Well, that stinks. I wanted to leave the cave. That's okay. We'll go on a little bit longer. Next day we'll quit. Hopefully it's sooner than later. But, you know. I mean, come on. This is too, this is too fun. This is too good. Wow, I can't believe you did it! I heard the screams all the way over here. You really are amazing, little fairy. I know. I guess I should probably be on my way, though. It was nice meeting you, Gothica. And you as well, little fairy. Safe travels to you. So Mary ventured onward, making haste in a very linear direction with no other potential forks or outcomes. That seemed ominous. No other forks or outcomes. Um, Mary? Left path takes you on with the story. 
where you proceed to look for something. The right path turns the fairy into a hooker bot. Um, upon climbing up the rocky steps of the cave, Mary noticed a light emanating from what appeared to be an exit in the wall. Ooh, I see light. This is a good sign. Onward we go, fairy wings. I'll be honest, I never thought I would see the day where I was playing an RPG maker where I'm in control of a fairy. It's kind of awesome. Mary seems like an awesome fairy. It's so bright out here. I'm happy to be out of that dark, smelly cave. I see that butterfly. The sign reads, warning, Cyclops ahead. Mary pulls out a thick black marker and writes on the sign. <laughs> Much better. The sign now reads, warning, mashed potatoes ahead. That's funny. She mashed potato that mofo. Yeah, I have a mofo. Oh, I gotta get a little bit of censorship. Little bit, tiny bit, just a tiny bit of that shit. Okay. All right. Just as you reach your hand out to the touch to touch the butterfly, this appears. What is that? That looks like something in a bad hentai. I know I'm on a roll. Um, this game brings out my energy, but I got the bird. Wait. Can't do nothing to the bird. Bullshit. Okay. Anyway, anything else to poke? I, I don't want to go to the plant monster. What? The sign see. The sign reads, The Unholy Treehouse. I am under attack by a fly. Winter. And they're sneaking in. As long as it doesn't lick my fairy booty, I'm okay. Oh, it's a mushroom. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm all for it. Shroomer. Well, hello there, little fairy. I am Shroomer, the Shroomling. What just happened right there? Did it just lick my booty? Mary came upon a Shroomling. She found a magical mushroom in the forest, Grandpa? <sighs> this the... No! <laughs> you little stupid shit. I mean, she came upon a Shroomling. Hey, what the hell are you doing to me? I, am I translating that right? Little fairy bitch Mary here just orgasmed all over Mushroom Man here. <clears throat> I love mushrooms, don't get me wrong. I have an addiction to Minecraft and I build giant mushroom houses. I won't go into the details. Cough, cough, web coming out of the middle of the tunnel. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is, uh, uh, my character's avatar is a mushroom skin. That fairy would be all over Mushroom Man Exodus, wouldn't it? Ooh. I'm with the story. That is just uncalled for. Be God with you, little fairy. Please forgive me. I didn't mean any harm. What? I uh, I was worried about him licking her booty. I didn't think it would be the other way around. I'm so very distraught right now. You've managed to ruin my perfectly fine day. I love how the creatures are just normal creatures of the world like he's not here to eat my soul he's just chilling being a mushroom i would like to make it up to you if you'll let me uh oh i would feel much better after a nice nap my mother used to play me lovely ballads to help soothe me to sleep okay i will find a way you can count on me so then Mary the fairy wandered off to figure out how she was going to make things up to Mr. Mushroom. What is this? Hey, I don't remember those mushrooms being there before. This is interesting. I should probably go check it out. Dude, this chick's going to be rubbing herself raw. Don't do it. Shroomfield. Hello there. I see you're having some troubles trying to pass Shroomer there. Yes. I may have done something to upset him. Girl, you orgasmed all of you... 
Squirt, squirt. Oh, Jesus. But he said that if he heard a nice song, it might make him make it up to him. This game is amazing. Okay, well, it just so happens that I'm traveling with my musical mushroom troop. Sure you are. Wow, really? What do you call yourselves? I'm scared to know. Mushroomica! Oh yeah! Ha! Mushroomica! I like that. Okay, well, can you maybe teach me a song to play for Shroomer? Yes! We are having a little bit of a dry spell right now, and we haven't been able to book any shows lately, so we've got plenty of time to spare to help out a little fairy in need. You best watch that fairy or else... <laughs> That's wonderful, Shroomfield. Not a problem. Lucky for you, we don't have any use for money, so this lesson is on the house. Fair enough. Alright, what do you need me to do? Well... It just so happens that my shrooms here are a bit stiff. They're in dire need of a nice lubing up, if you know what I mean. So what do you say? Absolutely. Well, are you ready to start now? Okay. Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My brain went- Okay, okay. I thought that's what was going on, but my brain didn't pro- We're cool, we're cool. I squirted it all up on them. Did you recognize the beat, though? I recognized it. Okay. Okay, that's what I thought. That's funny! That's funny! It doesn't look like Shroomer is quite yet sleepy. How about we play a little more? These mushrooms are standing, like, still like a statue. Maybe I should go talk to that big... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I gotta talk to him. What's next? This is gonna get hard, isn't it? My brain, um... <clears throat> my brain's not very good for these kinds of things. Yeah. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, well, if I can't figure that one out, then I probably... God damn it! That's so wrong! I'm running down the line, just... I... Oh, it's worse. The fact that I actually can visualize it, or the fact that... It's, it's happening. It's happening, folks. Okay, that was badass. That was badass. Mushrooms. Probably my most favorite phallic object in the world, let alone... I, I don't know, I just... I know my mushrooms. So we gotta do round three. Oh yeah! That was fucking metal! I believe that's metal as fuck. If you know what I'm saying. The pH? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Good luck on your adventures, little fairy. Was he asleep? It looks like he's fast asleep now. Here's my chance to clear the path. Mary grabbed onto Shroomer and started pulling him out of the way. One last time won't hurt. Oh no. <laughs> God damn it. What are you doing? I, 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 I want to quit. I, I'm, bro oh, I'm broken. I can't do anymore. You can only orgasm on a mushroom so many times before you just... Your hands are sticky and wet. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay, all of a sudden, Mary heard a scream coming from the north. I wonder what that was. It sounds like someone could use my help. There's so much suck to this. But that's okay. Quiverdick 2! I'm gonna leave it at that because 
uh, honestly, in my brain, after that mushroom scene, after what just went down, after what's probably laying behind that tree right there, a quivering mess of mushroom sadness and fairy juices, I just have to call it quits. But we will be back again real soon with more Quiver Dick 2. I promise. Oh, yeah. We gotta know what the scream was, right? Please, if y'all are enjoying, remember, drop a like. Let me know. I, I, it helps me to know. It helps the creator know, oh, this guy and his viewers, they enjoy my game. You know, it, it, it's a love thing. You spread the love and it all comes back full circle. So, okay. Swishiness aside, fairy orgasms in the basket, happy mushroom people in, in, in hand. We're calling it quits. We'll be back again real soon with more. But until then, you all take care. Peace.